Hey guys, what's up? It is Leah, Katie Knight LFC. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm back at it again. Basically, finally, I know it's been a while. I'm sorry. School started and obviously I don't really want to fail any of my classes. Does really fit to my like <laughs> Uh, I don't even know what I was going to say. I was going to say my 10 year plan. I mean, I have a plan for the future. I don't know if it's just 10 years out though. Okay, anyway, yes, I'm back at it again with a video. School's going well. I figure out how to sort of rearrange my schedule. And <laughs> so I should be able to do weekly videos again, which I'm so excited about. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little excited. Um, I got my DX Commander built, which means I can do a Pona, which is super, I don't want to say exciting again, because I've said it like four times already. But like, yeah, it's super exciting. Exciting. Um, and I know, okay, a lot of people have been asking me like, hey, Leah, when's the DX Commander going to be built? And I was like, ah, soon. In reality, it probably only took me like cumulative cumulatively. It only took me about a day to make, but I spread that out. So it took me a couple hours to just cut all the wires and then it took me a little bit to build it and that was it. I mean, it looks like it's going to be complicated, but it's really not. So yeah, that's super, super exciting. I can't say that again. <laughs> I've literally said it like 40 times already. Um, super, I was going to say exacerbating, but that's, first of all, it's not a word. First and, first, second. Second of all, exacerbate is not what you want. Um, but yeah, I got the video recorded. The DX Commander is working beautifully. I mean, I did have a little bit of trouble, like, trying to figure out how long the 40 meter element was going to be, but when I first tuned up, the 15 meter and the 20 meter, just like first cuts, no nonsense, no anything. It was one to one, pretty much all the way across. So that is ex okay. Why don't we just get into the video before I have any more opportunities to say exciting? Okay, so here we are. You can see this is the final setup. This first part we are going to, well, I am going to be showing you how to measure and cut the wires. And I'm also gonna be showing you all the soldering. Second part, I'll be showing you how to build the finished product. So let's get into it. The first step, as you can see me doing my little dance over there, um, is to cut all the lengths. And you get two of these big bundles of wires, do not. Do not get them tangled up. It takes so long. As you can see here, I have my tape measure and I just have that laid out to the length. If you go to his user guide, it will tell you using the metric system. So I had to do a little bit of conversion. Don't forget to add in the amount you have to fold over at the end um, to attach the element to the doingy doingy string, cord, whatever it is. Um, so right now I am measuring out and I'm cutting the 15 meter element. I did choose to do three, three elements on this. The 15 meter because I never use 15 meters. The 20 meter because I love doing POTUS on 20 meters and also the DX is great. I mean, it is a DX commander after all. And 40 meters because I may or may not be guilty of operating 90% of the time on 40 meters. Yeah, so there's the 15 meter element done. You can see I wrapped it up with the label maker's label. So I labeled each of them and wrapped them up so they wouldn't get all uh, get all tangled together. And so I knew know which one was which at the end. And that, that actually worked pretty well for me. By the time the label started falling off was when I was attaching them. And then I didn't really need the labels. I just did new ones right at the bottom. And those have stayed on pretty well. Here I am cutting the 20 meter element. And for some reason, I'm ridiculously quickly wrapping that thing. I mean, it is four times speed, but also I'm just, I'm showing off my pro skills, okay? My pro skills. So um, I did have enough of 
the wire to do all three elements. The 40 meter element, this is the one that I'm doing right now. I sort of went all the way up the tape measure and all the way back down because I wanted to stay in frame. This was the one that I had some trouble with. I had to go back and trim it quite a bit, but I don't know, there was a couple different numbers within the user guide. I will show you at the end um, sort of how many inches below the guide plate the 40 meter element ended up being so you can get a uh, a measurement that worked for me. With these, you don't have to be incredibly specific about like which one, like not which one, how long they are. I mean, it's important that you're not too far off of, and you definitely don't want to be too little, but you can always do little trimming and that's, that's always an option. So don't stress about, about getting it like down to the 10th of an inch perfect because in reality, I mean, all sorts of things come to play on how well your antenna does, your propagation, your location, other things that end in T-I-O-N, also started pouring. I hope you can't hear that in the video. Um, the 40 meter element, I don't know, it was probably the hardest to do just because I got it all messed up. But in reality, none of this took me very long. I mean, you lay it out, you cut it, you lay it out, you cut it. The radials took a lot longer than the elements, and you'll see me start to work on the radials later as well. Ooh, that lighting. <laughs> also, Dad asking me, hey, are you filming? And me, yes, him, okay. <laughs> um, you can see right there. Um, what was I saying? Oh my gosh, I completely, I completely forgot. Voiceovers, not my strong suit. There is the third element done, radials. Ooh, the, why they take longer. Ooh, the chicken. Okay, we're going off on a tangent about the chicken. We just got chickens and they've literally been all over our yard. And this one chicken, you'll see her in every part of the video because she was just obsessed with me. And yeah, she's super adorable. Does, a little camera shy, a little camera shy. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah. Now back to the radials. Um, the radials were, like I said, probably the most time consuming to make. There is six in each bundle and there's a total of five bundles. So lots of cutting, 30 different ones. Making sure that you have the correct number is beneficial. There's number one done, repeat 30 more times. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I am just using a standard pair of wire cutters there. Nothing too over the top or crazy. Um, I'm kind of lucky that my dad has an entire garage full of random things that just so happen to work out perfectly whenever I need them. I mean, there are benefits. <laughs> there are benefits, definitely. So, yeah, like, like I was saying before I was saying the thing I was saying, this whole thing didn't take very long. It probably only took me half an hour, 45 minutes to do, which, I mean, granted it's the first time I was doing this, so definitely if you're this is like the gazillionth time you've done it. It would take you no time at all to do it. Um, so yeah, there's just me completing the first radial. And you'll see in a couple seconds that through the magic of video editing, pow, I'm all done. <laughs> I have to do the sound effects. <laughs> the next step has to do with these little fork connectors. The yellow ones go for the radials and the blue ones go for the elements. The yellow ones are obviously bigger because you're fitting six of the wires in there. And make sure it's six, please, because you do not want to know the headache I went through when I accidentally put five in and crimped it and soldered it and then, oh God. Yeah, it was not a fun time. Also, I forgot to crimp these. So if you have the crimping tool, do it. Um, the first thing that you have to do with these is, like you saw in the video, use the wire strippers. Here I didn't take off enough, so you'll see me take off a little bit more um, in a couple seconds. And then I just line them all up, twisted them all together, and put them through the fork connect. Wow, okay Thunder, thank you. Put it through the fork connector. Um, this would be the point where you would crimp it, if you remembered just to create that mechanical connection. And then you'll go through with the solder to create the electrical connection. And this is going, you're gonna do this for each one of the radials. I'll show you the base plate that they go on in a second. So here, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Just testing to make sure if it was warm. I don't know. 
but then I get all my soldering gear out. Well, I say mine. It's really my dad's. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Temporarily Offline, my dad, <laughs> for giving me all the tools necessary. Um, you see I have my little wire winder. I have my thingy ma bobby, my helping hand thing, and you just solder it. It, yeah, if you want to know how to solder, there's plenty of amazing videos out there, and who knows, I might do one in the future, but I'm lucky I had a dad who taught me how to do all this stuff. Um, and yeah, I mean, <laughs> he's really the reason I'm here, let's be honest. So, yeah, this, I'm not even sure how long this part took. It probably took me a good hour, um, mainly just because of the one screw up. Like I said, if you know what you're doing, this will not take you very long at all. Um, just soldering all the connections together and then attaching it all to the base plate and then building the antenna. Just putting all the pieces that you already have together and it doesn't actually take all that long, which I mean, I was surprised. I don't know. Dad kept telling me like, you already know how to do this because we built my own DX Commander Classic like two years ago and I was like, oh, short term memory loss coming in clutch here. Can't remember <laughs> any of it. Um, yeah, so. Also, if it looks like I've burned myself, I haven't. I just was soldering really weirdly for some reason that day. I don't know. <laughs> it seems like the most awkward way to solder ever. You know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? And you can, you can see the box that all the pieces came in in the corner. And you can see a couple of the plates that you'll be able to see in the next episode. So, first one is done. Didn't take me too long, but now it's time to get all the other ones done. And you can see I still have it all like wrapped together with the, the label. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, there's the base plate. So that's the plate that all of the radials go on. It's the bottom plate of the antenna. I have the radials attached like that. Um, I don't think it matters which holes you put it in. You kind of want to evenly space it out because you want the radials evenly spaced out along the ground so that they do their job. Um, but yeah, you have the, the whole setup. So you have a little washer, you have the fork connector, you have the wing nut, and you have the bolt. Wow, I'm a mechanic. <laughs> I'm so good. So you just screw it all together, make sure it's tight enough that nothing's going to go flying off. Ooh, bam. Magic of video editing. All five of them done. It really just looks like a big black mess of wires. Um, but I did my best to make sure that they would not get tangled because that would be such a nightmare. So radial's done. And the next step is doing the same thing. This is the upper bottom plate. Um, you can see there's the three. I, yeah, I just showed you three of them. <laughs> so that's going to hold the 40 meters, the 20 meters, and the 15 meter elements. Um, there they are in all of their glory. You can also see that these use the blue fork connector, so they're smaller. If you have the crimping tool, it has like, at least ours does, it has like the little dots, like the yellow, you crimp it there if it's blue, you crimp it with the blue dot. And then I believe that is a PL259. I could be completely wrong. I always get them screwed up. Basically, that's where your coax connects. Um, very helpful to have. That just gets screwed on just the same as everything else. So it's got a little fork connector on the end and you just tighten her down. Well, that is the end of the first part of this series. Obviously, we still have to build the antenna and do all the guy wires and stuff, but I didn't want the video to be too crazy long. Um, so yeah, a little sneak peek about what we're gonna be doing next week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the second episode. 73.